Let's Play Group Play. This is a game for up to four players. There are three levels to this game. Level 1 is the beginner game, where all players start with ring number 4, the improved ring. This is the second largest ring of the set. This enables them to choose to go up in size to the beginner ring or down in size to the advanced ring. Level 2 is the advanced game, where all players start with ring number 3, the advanced ring, and are able to choose to go up in size to the improved ring or down in size to the semi-pro ring. Level 3 is the pro game, where all players start with ring number 2, the semi-pro ring, and are able to choose to go up in size to the advanced ring, or down in size to the pro ring. Before the game starts, players choose the level of game they'll be playing, level 1, 2 or 3. Each player takes it in turn to throw one dart at the bullseye. The player who lands their dart closest to the bull will begin their turn first. The second closest will have their turn second, etc. Player 1 throws the dart with his opposite hand in order to determine the next player's starting ring position. If, for example, you are left-handed, you will use your right hand to throw this first dart, and vice versa if you are right-handed. This throw is merely to position the location of the other player's target ring. Player 2 does the same thing to determine the position of Player 3's target ring. This continues until the final player throws to determine the position of Player 1's target ring. The opponent's ring is positioned around the dart and must be completely within the playing area of the dartboard. If two darts land in the same place or cause an overlap of rings, the second dart must be thrown again. Once all players' target rings are in place, the first player aims, using his preferred throwing hand this time, to land his darts in his own target ring to score points. If he gets one dart out of three through their own ring, they score one point. If a player gets two darts out of three through their own ring, they have a choice to either take two points, or choose to move their ring or an opponent's ring to another location on the dartboard. If a player gets three darts out of three through their own ring, they have a choice to gain three points, elect to change their ring to a larger ring, making it easier for him to score, or elect to reduce an opponent's ring to a smaller ring, the next ring size down. Alternatively, a player can aim for an opponent's target ring. For every dart a player throws through an opponent's ring, a point will be deducted from that opponent's score. If a player gets three darts through their opponent's ring, they can either knock three points off that opponent's score, change the opponent's ring to a smaller or bigger ring, or they can elect to change their own ring up a size or down a size to a smaller ring. The 6 dart bonus, if a player throws 3 darts through their own ring and elects to take the points, then throws another 3 darts through their own ring on the next turn, again taking the points, they will get a 6 dart bonus. Not only will they receive the 3 points from each turn getting 3 darts through their ring, but they will receive an additional 3 points for getting 6 consecutive darts through their own ring, earning them a total of 9 points in just 2 turns. The game can be played to achieve any predetermined score of an even number, e.g. 22, 32, 42, 52, 102, etc. To win the game, a player must win by a clear 2 points. For example, if both players are on 51 points and the game is being played to get 52 points, to win, a player must get 53 points to win the game. The first player to reach the determined score wins the game. <laughs> 